Right, good day ladies and gentlemen, for those people who are joining up uh, from other schools, it's lovely to have you on board and thank you for taking the time to have a look at the grade 11 pet uh, for 2025 and in this video we're going to be looking at creating your planning and summary document, uh, the structure at least for that and you can see here what they've given us at task 2 and we've got 30 minutes of time to try and do that. Okay, um, I will get into a lot more detail with using content controls, um, which we've got to have in for our cover page. But for now, we're just going to create the basic layout of our structure of our document. So if you guys don't mind, I'm going to window this a little bit. Um, that does help. And then I've got Microsoft Word open here on the side as well. So I'm going to go for blank document and we're going to save this um, just now as we carry on. Okay, so um, ladies and gentlemen, please, yes, you can also use a windowed views here. Um, as you are designing, it does help a little bit. So I can see what they want here on the left um, of my pet, unless you've got a hard copy of it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just simply write, we need to have the cover. Okay, and I'm going to stick with the heading style. Um, I think if you don't mind, I'm going to title that one. That's going to be a title there, so I now have to insert my cover. All right, then I'm going to insert a page break here. All right, so let's go for insert. Uh, or maybe I just want to see what I could do in there. Um, a layout. Yeah, let's go to layout and let's add some breaks. Next page. Can you see you can go next page here? So the cover, next page, and it'll jump down. It's a bit easier um, working that document like that. Right, and we know that the cover page, you can either use um, the preset covers. I'm going to be showing you how to do a custom one over here in this cover section. So that's going to be really quite cool, okay? Right, our next one. Now we're going to start off with a heading style. Okay, so that's quite important or else you cannot do the TOC. All right, so um, yeah, it says headings. So add the following provisional headings. Okay, so it means they can change depending um, how your pet unfolds. Okay, so we first need a table of contents. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that, paste that there, and I'm going to change this one home. Obviously, you can type it heading style one contents. Okay, right, so I know my table of contents must go in there. Again, I'm going to add a break and I'm going to add in a next page. Okay, the next page I'm going to add in is my focus question. So you can either type that out or you can copy and paste that. Focus question and home. And this time it's also heading style one. Okay, heading style one, heading style one. We can change the heading styles later on. And once again, I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to add another break. Right, next page. Great. So there is my next page break. They want the task definition. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that, paste that in there. Task definition. And that is also going to be a heading style one. Okay, task definition. Great. Okay, let's add in another break there again. So layout under breaks. And let's go for the next page. Right, they want your questions that you're going to ask which I've dealt with in the previous video, depending what topic you've picked or your area that you want to focus on. All right, home, and let's go there again. Questions, and let's add in another page break. Breaks, right, and let's go to the next page. Right, and then we've got summaries. And of all the questions and references where you got the answer, okay? That says it there, that's awesome. Let's go down, paste that one down again. We're going for heading style one for summaries. Okay, then we've got our another page break again. Design layout breaks next page. Right, awesome. Then we've got our bibliographies that are going to come in there. Right, bibliography home heading style one. Let's do another page break again. Layout breaks, page break, next page, awesome. And then we've got our pendencies. Okay. And we just got to read up a little bit more about the pendencies. 
uh, let's just quickly check what they're saying. An addendum under the heading Appendices was created in your planning document with a diagram of a screenshot um, of the folder structure, including any subfolders that were used. Give a suitable header such as folder structure and paste the diagram screenshot in this addendum. Okay, great. So we need to go here now under dependencies. Now I'm not going to do a page break there. I'm going to add one and I'm going to say in there heading style two. Okay, in heading style two. And this one we're going to call folder structure. Okay, right, folder structure. And you'll see what's going to happen with the TOC. Um, when we automate that one folder structure and then we also need to have the declaration of authenticity okay and that will also be in as a heading style 2 heading style 2 great and let's just make that a capital okay uh, lovely guys so that is the layout document for my pet okay so i know that i've covered this let's just go down a little bit more yes all right so um once that is done now guys we can now start populating the stuff that's inside here okay now again i want you to consider your theme have a look down further in the pet um and you will see um what you know the denim tells you font sizes and things should be that's really quite important to have a look at that side of the document but that is the layout so far of your main document your research document for your pet okay so um it was simply adding in let's just quickly confirm so i just want to go up again let me just zoom to 100 percent for you guys i think uh, also make this just a a uh, single page we're going to have a cover which is going to have its details in it we're going to have the toc automatic table of contents and then i've got a next page break there again i've got focus question right to the page break um our next page at least task definition next page break questions next page break summaries next page break bibliography next page break uh, appendices um, as a heading but with sub headings folder structure and de declaration of authenticity guys i hope that was cool that was easy um not finished with the cover yet so i'm going to in the next video go through a detailed video on doing this cover really custom and making it really look nice hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one